exciting and... I'm gonna be very careful. Ooh, that's a strange one. I hope that wasn't meant for me. You, uh, th that definitely wasn't meant for you. In your case, I would have said, that's a beautiful one. I like that a lot better. I'm Delia Parks. Isaac Washington. You look familiar to me. Do I know you? Well, you might have seen me. I'm an actress. I did a few pictures and a couple of commercials. Oh. If I were a producer, you'd be a star. <laughs> Thanks. We'll see. I'm on my way to Stockholm to do a movie. Hmm. Well, I hope I see more of you during the cruise. Well, only if you're looking. Washington. Uh, good evening, Dr. Kane. Is this stool reserved for someone? Yes. Oh. A very beautiful lady. Oh. Well, I wouldn't want to stay in the way of romance. I'll have a tonic water, please. It's over there. Certainly. This is the bar stool of honor, Miss Parks. Delia. Oh, thank you, Isaac. I wouldn't dream of sitting anywhere else. You must have a very busy social calendar if you treat all your female customers this way. When I met you, I didn't need a calendar anymore. Time stopped. Daylight here is so incredible. It's 11 o'clock and it's just getting dark. It is going to be fantastic seeing this part of the world with you, Delia. Starting with Oslo tomorrow. Oh, Isaac, I'd like that too, but... But what? Well, I really haven't studied my lines for the picture, and I thought I might find some English-speaking actor in Oslo and work with him. Mm -hmm. Delia, I was hoping... I used to do a little acting in high school. Amateur plays, things like that. Maybe I could help you. Oh, Isaac, I don't know. It sure might take up a lot of your time. All the more reason. What's the movie about? Well, it's a kind of spoof on more pictures. But you know, a little comedy, a little danger, a little romance. A little romance? Mm-hmm. Good. Let's practice. Romance doesn't come this early in the picture. Oh, then I better take that kiss back and save it for later. These cabin doors look alike. Yes, they do. Come in, Delia. Well, how goes it with Isaac Washington? It couldn't be better. He not only agreed to help me learn my lines, but he volunteered to do it. Yes, I was certain he would. Now, you do know which lines of his we have to record? Of course, Dr. Kane. I've got it all marked in my script. Oh, no, no, no. My script. You know, in a few days, you'll make more money than you would in a dozen movies. Two actors and actresses, especially in their offstage roles. Okay, remember, make your part tough and minister. What do you want? I'm not afraid of you. Don't mess with me or you buy trouble. 45 caliber trouble. There are six of us and only one of you. All right. Don't anybody move. Stay right where you are and nobody will get hurt. <laughs> Let's go. 
Was I that bad? No, you were wonderful. You're going to be a much bigger help than you think. Oh, well, good. <laughs> Delia, I know you're going to be a big star. A very big star. You really believe that, don't you? I believe in you. What was that for? Well, no reason. I, I just felt like it. Well, that's the best reason of all. <laughs> Delia, I love to hear you laugh. And I love you. I love you too, Isaac. Oh, look at the time. I'm supposed to be at Miss Bjornson's party. Well, Isaac, what's more important? Me or a horse? Yeah. I mean, who cares about an $8 million horse? Well, I'm with my billion-dollar baby. <laughs> I'm in love with an angel. Delia is her name. Come in, my love. Hey, what'd you guys do? Decide to move the party to my cabin? You are Mr. Washington? <laughs> yeah. You were under arrest? Why? You don't like my outfit? Why did you do it, Isaac? Do what? Steal Miss Bjorson's horse. Oh, I get it. It's a gag, isn't it? Isn't it? We were there, Isaac. We saw you. Isaac, we're your friends. We're going to try and help you. Hey, I don't know what you're talking about. I wasn't even at the party. I was with Delia all day today. Delia! Delia, listen, will you tell these people where we were today and tell them what we were doing? What we were doing? Well, I don't mean all the details, but I mean you and me being together today. Well, Isaac, I don't know what you were doing, but I was out sightseeing, alone. You will have to come with us, Mr. Washington. I have some champagne chilling in my cabin, Delia. And I love sharing a toast with my fellow workers. I wish I weren't one of them. Something troubling you? Isaac is going to prison. As well he should. He committed a dastardly crime. <laughs> he did not commit a crime. Oh? You did. And I did. That's right. You see, that's why I selected you, a talented young actress with a desperate need for money. I don't want your money. Now you think it over. I'm sure that Miss Bjorson is willing to pay handsomely to get her horse back. Hmm? I know we all saw what happened, but I just can't accept it. And we know Isaac. A man doesn't just change overnight. But we'll get him the best lawyer possible, right, sir? Right. Good. Oh, oh, doctor. No, sir. no, leave me alone. Oh, leave me alone. Don't anyone move. That's Isaac. Don't anyone move. Don't anyone move. It's not Isaac. Don't anyone move. It's just something that looks Don't like Isaac. Don't anyone move. Don't anyone Go for move. Call the police. Don't anyone move. Don't anyone move. Don't anyone move. Under the circumstances, uh, I assume a little bribery is out of the question. Glad to have you back again. Yeah, you know, we had to mix our own drinks, huh? Hey, <laughs> well, you know, I saw that robot at the police station. It was amazing. Well, it sure was. It looked and talked exactly like you. Nothing to it, gentlemen. You created a masterpiece of deception, Dr. Kane. I take pride in my work, Captain. In fact, 
How do you know that I am really me, hmm? <laughs> Excuse me, uh, could I have a word with her, please? Was anything that you told me the truth? Just one thing. I do love you. Delia, I wish things could have been. <laughs>